We just finished packing up camp and we decided to come over to this edge in glass where we saw, where we were watching those bears last night just to see if there's anything over there. And sure enough, within about 10 seconds, I pick up a blonde bear on that same hillside that the black and brown bears were last night, the boar and the sow. We made it. Hopefully you guys could see us setting the tent up a little bit. Came yeah, out. it was kind of a scramble getting yeah. everything done and <laughs> making sure everybody was warm and we're over in eastern Oregon to fill my bear tag now. It's an awesome unit and we're using this weekend to primarily scout since we have our plus one. <laughs> we saw some elk on our way in, which is so fun. A uh, handful of, of fuzzy bulls. And then in a different meadow, we saw a group of cows and a group of does, which was interesting. Just hanging out, looked like a nice meadow to hang out in, so I don't really blame them. <laughs> Getting some breakfast going. Uh, I think we're gonna have a little bit of pre-breakfast coffee though, because we didn't sleep the greatest last night. We made this coffee at home and put it in Stanley middle of the day yesterday. Skull. Skull. That's awesome. Really fun. Saved us some time. Go ahead and sit. Oh, wow. Here. Wait. You were messy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you having for breakfast? Chocolate. It's a Woodman special. DIY. Homemade. Do it. <laughs> Backcountry breakfast. Skull. What did you find? Bear poo. Really? Where? Right there. slow morning at camp. We're gonna drive around now for a little bit and check out some different areas. Since this is more of a scouting trip, we wanna make sure that we get eyes on different places, see where we wanna backpack into next weekend. No bears, but I saw elk about eight miles away through the windshield. Nice job. That's my job. Yeah. Are you trying to put me out of business? <laughs> nice work. 
I just wish that I could do that with a bear. This was a crazy good spot. It's this huge park. I think the highest one we can really see way a couple ridges over. So I think we're going to play a little game. At least I'm going to play a game with myself. Alicia's going to try and find it on Onyx. And we're going to guess the straight line distance to it as the crow flies. I'm going to say it is 3.75 miles. 3.75, do you have a guess? Um, as the crow flies? Yep. Four point one two. Four point one two. I'm gonna show you that one right there in the center of the screen. How far do you think it is? We'll get back to you on that, but uh, pause the video, leave a comment. How far do you think it is? Okay. I swear to you this, I like being right. I'm not competitive with Alicia because I want to see her do well too, but I like being right. And Alicia just came over to me. <laughs> she thinks she found on Onyx where these elk are. Did a map line distance to them. Here's what we got. <laughs> what do you think about that? What was your guess? I don't need to. I don't need to say it because it's right there on the screen. <laughs> I guessed 4.12, just to be random. It's exactly what it is. So. Once we get home, we're, we'll see if this actually looks like what I what it looks like here. Because the destination is offline. Crazy. Okay. I've got a bear. Yes. <laughs> yes. First bear of the year. He is right where I expected him to be, or she. Uh, green instead of the green. Mowing along. <laughs> You're a spotter. It's happening. Hi. There's a bear. It's yeah. far away. Pretty easy to get to, right? Uh, super easy. We just have to scale down this ridge and across the river and up the other side. Probably 3.75 miles away. <laughs> <laughs> I say 4.12. Um, he just kind of went into a depression or behind some bushes or something, but decent sized bear and our first of 2020 and it feels really good to have that finally under our belts it kind of was feeling like we didn't know how to see a bear but we I mean I've we've seen bears and we know that they just pop when they're out there and so it's just a matter of looking in the right spots for long enough and he just popped uh, we're not gonna go after this bear because he's about 4.12 miles away. <laughs> He's a big bear, um, but we have a five-year-old with us. I don't think she's really into wading across the river today or hiking down 2,000 feet and up 2,000 feet. It's just a guess. You want to do rock what climbing do today? Yeah. You want to <laughs> swim across the river? There's your answer, folks. <laughs> she doesn't even need an answer. We just moved spots uh, and, you know, found another awesome glassing point. Decided to stay here for a little bit and I have a bear, again, probably about four miles away um, on this hillside working his way around. It's so grainy, but it uh, looks like a big chocolate again. Maybe a little blonde on his back, a little red on his back. Um, Really exciting to see some bears, even though these ones are really far away. So far, we have seen um, two bears, uh, and both of them seem to be chocolate. Well, we lost that other bear. He ducked down into some bushes or trees or another drainage, um, but I picked another one up equally as far away across the river up the other side um, he stuck out like a sore thumb I 
which is kind of like, oh, that looks pretty green over there. I bet there's a bear. Evelyn, what do you think of that? I love it. What are you looking at right now? <laughs> what are you looking at? I want a bear. Well, we saw another bear and we also had a mountain goat in boat range. That was really crazy. She just walked up here. She, right? I would say. I think she. so, yeah. She just walked up here between 30 and 50 yards. Like we weren't even here. And Eli was standing right there. The only reason that I noticed, because I've been focusing in this direction, right? The only reason I noticed her is because he started winding. So, it was crazy. <laughs> Thankfully, we all got to see it. Got some footage and that's a cool experience today. Ready to see some bears up close. So we're gonna move areas and get to a spot where we can have area closer to us to glass instead of across the river. Um, it's fun though, this is awesome. <laughs> we're trying to find, you know, the perfect glassing spot for the night. Really, when it comes down to it, the place we wanted to be, somebody's already there, but the cool thing about our camp is for where it's at, we can actually see quite a bit of country on the same side of the ridge, which is kind of rare sometimes in this steep country with all these knife ridges because you end up getting ridged out. You can't see around them without hiking to the next one. So it's not perfect, but it's a good spot and we're really thankful to have it actually. So I think uh, we're just gonna park it at camp for the night. Back at camp, we're doing some glassing for bears now. This area is has some hillsides that are closer to glass so we could potentially have a shot opportunity if a bear is in the right spot. Of course there's plenty of area that's out of shooting range um, but we have a pretty good chance of seeing bears over there as well. My first bear spot Alicia has spotted four today and I just spotted my first Two happens to be a double. Looks like a sow and a boar. And how oh, it feels good. <laughs> feels good to crack that goose egg. It feels good to get on the board. It feels good to see bears. Probably the closest ones we've seen today, but still not in a spot we can get to tonight, much less with a five-year-old. I think we're going to just keep watching and hope we find something on this side of the drainage but it's been a big day for us um, after going blanks for 2020 we spotted six bears today so we are stoked this is awesome we uh ended the night with what was it three three yeah. bears that yeah we saw? from camp yeah, yeah. Saw those three bears from camp, just actually the, the close glassing spot that's closest to our tent, not around the corner where we were glassing the rest that's of the right. night. Um, really cool. One definite chocolate bear. I think a black bear might be dark brown. And then the one I saw was black. And he actually saw an elk just behind camp, a cow elk, and then a white tail doe. Yeah. So there's animals moving around. 
yeah, just check out some different spots to glass tomorrow and see what we can get. <laughs> and we're gonna tuck in and get a good night rest and do it again tomorrow. We are packing up camp uh, because we're going to check out some different spots and uh, run the truck bed game tonight. Uh, just be a little bit more mobile, make our exit a little faster in the morning <laughs> since we have to be home at a certain time and it's a long drive for us. We're going to um, load up the truck, drive around, check out a couple different spots and see where we end up tonight. But yeah, we had a nice slow morning at camp, had some breakfast, shot Evelyn's bow, and just enjoying the time. We just finished packing up camp and we decided to come over to this edge in glass where we saw, where we were watching those bears last night just to see if there's anything over there. And sure enough, within about 10 seconds, I pick up a blonde bear on that same hillside that the black and brown bears were last night, the boar and the sow. And he's just working his way in the same general area and just stood out like a sore thumb. So cool. I don't know, I don't think I've ever glassed a uh, blonde bear before. It is right over here. We had a plan leaving camp this morning that we were going to check out a different area. That didn't pan out because the road uh, wasn't a road. So we came clear out to a different area and it just wasn't what we were expecting as far as what we could glass and see. So we came back to yet another area. We had been uh, kind of close to where we saw the mountain goat and we're just going to post up here for the rest of the night. It's you can glass a lot of area from over here. Uh, it's pretty far away, but I think it's going to give us a good, good idea of where we want to be next weekend. Doing the nightly prep for the morning. <laughs> I have been prepping everything we need so that we can have just a simple, easy, either early or smooth morning. So I'm making our dinners um, so we can eat while we glass. I'm also going to prep our breakfast and most importantly, I'm going to prep our coffee for tomorrow. So we're just getting everything ready to go. We're going to spend the last, I don't know, couple hours, uh, two and a half hours ish of glassing light here, uh, looking for bears and just surveying the area and we'll tuck in and have an early get out in the morning. We've been glassing on and off for an hour and a half or so while we got camp set up. And uh, Alicia hasn't been glassing a ton because she was dealing with some other stuff, getting some stuff ready. Um, otherwise, she probably would have picked one out. <laughs> oh, she is money behind the bear glass. But she let me be the first to spot one at a location and uh, we're getting some footage of it right now. Again, we're not gonna be able to go after it, but it's fun watching them. And after getting skunked for two years, I'll take one at four miles over none at all. Yeah, we're just closing down shop here. It was a fun weekend. We'll be ruminating on our game plan for the next few days until we leave Thursday night to come back and do it again. It's been fun filming Alicia. <laughs> film Alicia. It's, film Alicia. It's, it's Alicia. <laughs> Can you give me another shot of whiskey, please? <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It 
actually means a lot and helps us out a lot. If you didn't like it, um, go ahead and hit that thumbs down button two times. Really appreciate it. <laughs> um, do you want to fall off the cliff first or do you want me to? All right. Um, I'll go first. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get off this cliff here. It's not um, super far, but it's far enough that you won't remember it happened. And now I'm thinking about it. Yeah. All right. Later. Peace.